As researchers around the world continue working toward a vaccine for COVID-19, a Cobb County biotech company is testing three possible vaccines. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey sat down with its CEO to talk more about it. We're able to develop uh, the construct of the vaccine, meaning the basis of a vaccine to start some form of testing, animal testing, immunogenicity testing, usually within three months. So CEO David Dodd of Cobb County-based GeoVax first talked with us in late January, and right on schedule, his team will begin testing for a COVID-19 vaccine in the next one to two weeks. We're working on a timeline that would allow us to go forward through animal testing and enter human testing perhaps as early as the end of this year. Dodd says GeoVax's research led to three different COVID-19 vaccine recipes or candidates. These will now be used for animal testing with the goal of moving the best one on to human testing. Motion is adopted. Inside the $2.2 trillion coronavirus relief package Congress recently passed and President Donald Trump signed is at least $3.5 billion in funding for BARDA, a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services agency overseeing the manufacturing, production, and purchasing of a COVID-19 vaccine and treatments. Dodd says his Cobb County-based company is being considered for a piece of the funding, which could boost GeoVax's research. I've been in uh, Washington, D.C. I've been um, on the phone. We've had a lot of good dialogue, I say, with uh, Health and Human Services. And currently at Emory University, Dr. Evan Anderson says adults are already enrolled in a separate clinical trial of a vaccine designed to prevent COVID-19. This study is moving very, very quickly. Uh, we were literally asked to be involved with helping to uh, conduct the study just two weeks ago. The study at Emory is sponsored by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Dodd says if GeoVax's human testing later this year is successful, they could have a vaccine available in late 2021. He takes pride in knowing the solution to COVID-19 could come from the metro Atlanta area. I would stress that the epicenter of prevention and therapeutics against various uh, challenging infectious pathogens is metro Atlanta.